There are three issues I would just like to put out there for, for a discussion. <coughs> when human rights are concerned, uh, particularly <coughs> universal human rights. Um, the first issue is the issue of um, the uh, universal human rights and culture. Uh, when I say culture, I mean uh, I talk about the term of cultural relativism uh, in, uh, in terms of, of human rights. And uh, I would like to uh, hear what everybody thinks about this relation and about whether uh, universal human rights are even uh, possible and whether they can be um, uh, implemented throughout the, the world if, uh, the, if the notion of, of cultural relativism is uh, opposed to them. Um, the other issue is uh, the UN itself, which is, I believe, uh, the single and most important mechanism for, for uh, implementation of, of human rights according to um, universal uh, declaration of human rights and of course through all other uh, uh, documents, conventions, uh, compacts, uh, protocols that were later adopted on the grounds of, of universal declaration of human rights. So the issue of UN, uh, particularly uh, the issue of the structure of UN and whether it um, impedes uh, the uh, implementation of human rights uh, across the world or whether it fosters it. And uh, the third issue which is somehow connected to uh, maybe to, to the first issue is uh, and second of course is whether uh, we have uh, many uh, instruments of, hu of human rights today um, in place. We have, uh, we have institutions. Uh, but uh, my question is, is it really uh, enough? Has it been enough? Is it the matter of that we need more of it? Or is it just the matter of the um, willingness of, of those who, who actually uh, have to um, implement all those all those documents we have in place and that's the countries across the world members of the UN so do we have everything that that we need and we just have to implement what what we already have or do we need some sort of uh, new uh, deal I, I call it here in new social contract on global social contract on human rights on um, uh, what is, even though we have universal, maybe even the universal uh, declaration is too broad for, for everybody to, to be able to, um, to comply and to, even though uh, they say nominally they, they uh, uh, accept uh, everything that, that's in there, but uh, do, we, do we need some sort of new uh, agreement on, on human rights and what is uh, this common denominator for everybody that is acceptable when we speak of human rights? Just as, just one illustration for, for the end and then uh, I would like for the discussion to begin is um, the covenant on uh, civil and political uh, rights that was uh, uh, signed in '66, and I think it came into effect in, in 1978. Has uh, uh, has it has two two protocols, but one of those protocols is protocol on uh, abolition of death penalty, and uh, that protocol is uh, is an optional protocol, which means that. Um, that the members of the EN, of the UN, uh, haven't been able even to to come to an agreement that such a thing as as the right to stay alive is a fundamental human right. So, if and today we have 
I think 56 member states that still uh, implement uh, that penalty on, on their citizens. So if that is something that is that's the matter of dispute, do we do we have such thing as, as universal human rights at all? Thank you.